Hey everyone, we're at University of the Sciences here in Philadelphia. I'm LeVon Harvey. This private school is a leader in health sciences and research. Let's kick off this tour. University of the Sciences is located on the west side of downtown Philadelphia in University City, only minutes from the historic areas like Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell, and the Constitution Center. The city's interesting. It's very different from where I grew up, and, you know, I like the difference. There's always something to do going over to Center City, so it's always entertaining. University of the Sciences campus comprises 17 buildings located on a 35-acre site that includes a quad with lots of green space and new state-of-the-art science and student facilities. The neat thing about this university is its ability to be a small school so that there's a lot of interaction with undergraduate students, with the faculty and the uh, staff, but still maintain that high rigorous scientific discipline and scientific focus that we do so well here. University of the Sciences has a total enrollment of about 3,000, 39% male and 61% female and 43% ethnically diverse students. The student to faculty ratio is 13 to 1 with an average class size of 26. You know, on face value the students are just like any other college student, but the difference here is students have an interest in going into a health profession. They're, become, they're going to become medical doctors, pharmacists, physical therapists, physician assistants, occupational therapists, researchers. So that's the common thread that runs through the entire campus. They, they really go beyond the normal college student in terms of what they're doing in their careers and where they want to go because they really want to get into a career where they're helping somebody live a longer and healthier life. For the majority of majors, University of the Sciences generally considers students with a GPA of 3.0 or better, a minimum SAT of 1,000 or 22 on the ACT. Students are selected on the basis of their high school academic record. That's about two-thirds of the decision. Uh, the rigor, the types of courses, especially in the areas of science, math, and English, that's, that comprises two-thirds of our decision. The other third will be uh, SAT or ACT. The University of the Sciences is a private university. Yearly tuition costs roughly $27,000 for all students, and room and board are an additional $11,000 a year. Worried about the big exam? Well, join the students in rubbing President Lincoln's right foot for good luck. The bronze statue is one of three originals made by Chester French, the famous sculptor of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. The university offers 23 undergraduate majors, including a forensic science program, 19 graduate degree programs, 24 minors, and three post-baccalaureate certificates. Most students are directly admitted into their majors, so I know uh, we've got incoming 300 students coming into the pharmacy program. As soon as they're admitted into their program, they just continue on in their program as long as they're in good academic standing. So they don't, we don't get a lot of undeclareds in. Usually students are pretty focused, they know what they want. There is the opportunity if they do change their minds, or if they can go through a process and switch majors. Majors. And a lot of the programs in the first two years have similar curriculum, so they're not going to be losing a lot of credits if they do decide to switch from one to another. The top three popular majors prepare students for healthcare careers in pharmacy, physical therapy, and biology. University of the Sciences is home of the nation's first pharmacy college, founded in 1821. It's where the founders of six of the top pharmaceutical companies in the world launched their futures. Basically I chose USC because they have a 06 program which basically means that I will, be, I will progress on to my professional years in pharmacy without having to take my PCAP as long as I maintain a certain required GPA. USP employs 161 full-time faculty members and nearly all have their PhD or other doctoral degree. Many professors engage in exciting research like drug discovery or delivery to the medicinal qualities of rare African plants. Professors are always available. That's the, one of the good things about this campus. They're always available office hours. Um, if you can't make office hours, you always have a phone to call them. Um, I know I bug my professors all the time for help or anything like that. The Devils compete in the NCAA Division II intercollegiate athletic programs. School spirit is wonderful. We always have activities going on. Organizations are always sponsoring get-togethers and pizza parties. And I know like first month of campus we have like Midnight Madness and it's just school spirit, games, you know, eat on, or everything like that. Campus residents vary from traditional to apartment style housing. There are 43 student life organizations on campus and 14 Greek brother and sisterhoods. There's a strong emphasis on student-centered learning. If we think of different learning activities, we can just figure out a way to try it. Um, I like the creativity, I like the different approach to learning, I like the hands-on approach, and I like to focus on community-based practice that a lot of the people in my department have. Um, nobody's set in their ways. Everybody's willing to think about new ideas and talk about it, and the students have come up with great ideas that we've been able to implement in our classes, which has been wonderful. 
USP alumni have made contributions in nearly every aspect of health sciences. Michelle Fontana invented the Romney. It's a device that helps physical therapy patients recover from knee replacement and ligament damage. The students in the program which I teach, pharmaceutical marketing and management, they get snapped up by top pharmaceutical firms, Pfizer, J&J, Merck, uh, even before they graduate. Passionate about research, geared for a career in healthcare, feeling devilish? Get ready to discover the University of Sciences in Philadelphia. That's it for us. Hope you enjoyed your exclusive tour of University of the Sciences. Make sure you join us next time. For University TV, I'm LaVon. Go Devils!